Praise God, praise God. Um, go ahead, tag and share someone right share with someone right now. Praise God, praise God. Um, it's so much to say, so much God has been speaking with me about, and it's so sad because honestly, I've been saying this stuff for like three, four years, maybe five, maybe six, just to truth be told, but some people are listening. Some people, pastors, preachers, and teachers are starting to catch on. But to be honest with you, most people are still living in that fantasy world. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So go ahead and let me snatch you out of this fantasy world tonight. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because some of you don't understand that it may be for your life. You know, the enemy The enemy's not playing. The enemy has never been playing. It's people that play come on somebody hallelujah so i need you to tell me if you can hear me see me go ahead and say mic check praise god praise god yes i've been um i love the spirit of god the spirit of god when it catches you and and, and arrests you like i've been on it all day my spirit has just been really full and how i know i'm going to tell you something that happened but i i don't see any comments i don't see anything so i need somebody to let me know praise god thank you thank you apostle dominique okay so praise god so i was out earlier i was actually to a business establishment and it's so ironic how god does things believe it or not i was supposed to go there yesterday but i say but god was like i want you to go today and i want y'all to see how god does things how he's very strategic just like the enemy is and so long story short they had this young man it was so crazy because he kept looking at me and he said you look familiar and i said apostle dan he said i follow you blah 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 but that's not what i want to get to at the end of that talking i end up having a i end up praying for him and he moved my spirit as well so i know that was an ordained assignment but hold on listen to this I hadn't eaten because I fast every day. I don't care what no doctor say. I don't care what nobody say. I'm going to do what God say. Hallelujah. You could say, say whatever. Hallelujah. And, and I see why God wants it that way. Not because I'm so great, but because then I'm, I'm clear to hear. I need you to pray for that person. I need you to lift that person up. I need you to tell that person a word. We have to get and stay in positions of readiness. Come on, somebody, hallelujah, where your spirit is so quenched and drenched with the word of God that when God say move, you move. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. You're not hesitant. You're not on what people going to say, what people going to think. You can care less what people say and what they think. The church have to go back to the old school, God says. I don't care what y'all say. New school's not working. It never did work. That was just, let's just be honest. That was a ploy to get money. Well, come on, somebody. Just like spiritual sons and daughters. Y'all don't want to hear me on now. I'm going to reshare that video, too. Everything is, has been systematic, all about money, all about uh, um, control, all about abuse, all about controlling people. And that's what's wrong with the church today. Y'all always trying to control somebody. And when y'all can't control them, y'all ostracize them. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm all down your street. Y'all know it's the truth. If, if nobody don't want to get in the clicks, then y'all put the word out on them. Oh, they rebellious. Rebellious to who? God or man. The Bible says, should I serve God or man? I'm going to serve God. Y'all could keep talking. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But I'm telling you what God said. He said the fivefold must come together. Fivefold, notice, fivefold, right? You ball that up, you got what? You got a fist. Power. Come on, somebody. Unity, which is power. That's why the churches are not operating in the miracle signs and wonders. Because guess what? Y'all not adhering to the fivefold. No one wants nobody to tell them nothing. Pastor, that's not your church. Preacher, that's not your church. Minister, that's not your church. Bishop, that's not your church. Apostle, that's not your church. That's God's church and God people hallelujah to his name and until you get that notion you're gonna always be trying to control things protocol y'all sitting up there doing protocol every Saturday every Sunday every Tuesday protocol 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 what y'all need to do is do a Holy Ghost call come on somebody hallelujah y'all don't even do altar calls no more come on somebody hallelujah I'm gonna say it the way God said to say it and yes I said y'all because it's another thing too y'all are getting on apostles and prophets talking about oh you judging oh, oh no 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 we have a command we have a mandate on our life to say thus said the Lord but what you don't understand, we included too. So go on with that judging, judging thing. Go on with that trying to manipulate somebody's mind, body, soul. You can't have me, hallelujah. And you ain't going to stop me from saying what God say. So go on with that ridicule. Go on with that little mind game stuff. Because I ain't having it. And you can't touch me with it. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Because I'm on one today, hallelujah. I feel the spirit of God. I ain't ate all day. Yes, I'm on that Holy Ghost power, honey. Hallelujah. Ain't nobody playing. 
Because playtime over with. Y'all don't see people dying? People are dying in the church. It's, it's the church's fault. I don't care what you say. Because if the church would be doing what the church is supposed to be doing, we'll stop Satan in his tracks. But it's too much. Let me tell y'all what y'all doing. Looking at the next one. Trying to be a long ranger. What's a long ranger? You want it to be about you, 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 you. You won't even work together with nobody. Because guess what? You want to take the glory. Can I tell you something? God's glory, honey, belongs to no man. He say, no man will get my glory. Hallelujah. That's the story. That's what's really going on. Y'all don't want to work together with nobody. And, and, and God forbid they radical like me. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Like me. Oh, I'm going to be real up in here tonight. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. They put the word out on me. When that was, Lord? Bring it back to me. 2006, 7 or 8. One of them. When I didn't do what they wanted me to do in California. They put the word out on them. Oh, she rebellious. Oh, she did. No, 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 no. I'm listening to God. And I'll go against you. I'll go against anybody. God, tell me to go again. Mother, father, sister, brother. I don't care. Hallelujah. And it ain't like I'm all that bad because he put me in place too. But y'all trying to control people and control the spirit of God. Y'all can't even have church the way God wants y'all to have church. It is time to go back to shut-ins. It is time to go back to praying like never before. There's a sense of urgency in the spirit. And yet y'all so busy. Money, 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 money. That's all y'all about, truth be told. Trying to look good instead of be good. Looking good on the outside, but ain't got no spirit on the inside. Don't have no love. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm all up in that tonight, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And wondering why there's no power in the churches. Because first of all, you don't have self-control. You don't let Holy Ghost control you. You want to be in control. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And then I'm going to tell you, was a lot of y'all apostles and prophets, y'all want y'all don't want to say what does say the Lord in them churches because y'all know they're going to throw you out. Yes. And how I know? They did it to me. They didn't throw me out, but they ostracized me so much until I felt the pressure. I never left. I'm going to tell you what I did. I stayed there until God said, there are times I sat in that doggone church and cried like a baby. Strangers holding my hand and saying, it's going to be all right. And I, I asked God, why God? Why God? Why God? And I never forget what God said. I'm going to tell it all, honey. God said, I'm teaching you what not to do. Hello. Some of you have hurt God's people. And that's another thing, too. Some of y'all need to get on the phone, but you're too big. Your name too big. Y'all need to tell people, I'm sorry if I hurt you. I love you. Y'all won't even do that because guess what? Your name brand or who you think you are. But you're going to have to give account on that day. That day. That day said the Lord thy God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm just pulling it on your back the way God telling me to do it. Hallelujah. Unruly, unsettled, have no love for each other. Too busy looking at the other people's gifts. Don't even want to flow together. Unless we flow together, we will perish together. Don't y'all understand that? Hallelujah to his name. Ain't nobody playing. But y'all so busy judging. And this is what I mean by judging. Trying to put people in groups. Um, these are the radical people. We ain't going to play with them. We ain't going to even touch them. We ain't even, we gonna, we ain't even going to acknowledge them. <laughs> but I love the power of God. Because guess what? It'll make you acknowledge somebody. Hallelujah. And it ain't about that. But God will say, this is my servant. This is my son. This is my daughter. Back up off him. Hallelujah. Too much playing in the body of Christ. Too much playing in the body of Christ. There's a sense of urgency. I hear the sense of urgency in the spirit. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. Come back to the oracles of God. We got to come together. And the sad part is now, this is, this is the bottom line. Y'all don't want nobody to tell you that you're wrong. Let me tell you something. A real leader, it could be a bum on the street. If the Lord thy God is speaking to that person and saying that you are wrong, you are supposed to adhere. Hallelujah. But you, <laughs> who are they? <laughs> Excuse me? Who are you? You didn't got beside yourself in pride. 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 Destruction comes. Hallelujah to his name. We don't even do altar calls no more. As a matter of fact, you got fast food churches. Drive on in and drive on back. Give me your money, honey. Hallelujah. And, and I'm going to holler for that dollar. Not even giving people what they need because you can't hear. You can't even preach what they need because you can't hear. And most of y'all don't want to tell people the truth because you know they're going to get mad. Let me tell you something. If there's no conviction, there's no word of God going forth. Because let me tell you something. God will wake you up and convict you and say you are wrong. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. But when you have a people-pleasing spirit, 
you preach, and I'm gonna go ahead and say that. And I, and I wish, I wish you would. I wish you would. I'm, yeah, I'm saying it. I wish you would come in my inbox with that foolishness. I'm gonna give you what you're looking for. Boo. Like Joe Osteen. Y'all still today think that man a man of God. Now find me one message of conviction. There is no way that God is gonna just tell you to preach. Everybody is love and love is everybody. The devil is a liar. So are you and him. Let me tell you something. Y'all so into these name brands, y'all better start hearing the voice of God. Who has the spirit of God? Because you see, new world ought to come in, whether you like it or not. I'm telling you. And I know what I'm talking about. I've been having no dreams since I was, what, 27? I even saw my own death, so don't tell me. Because God don't lie. But I will tell you this. Y'all can act fool and wait till that stuff is up on us. And then what you gonna do? You better... Think now. God said, prepare yourselves now, mentally, physically, spiritually. I'm telling you, he says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. Because guess what? You think you know that you don't know, but you think you know. And when God sent a man or woman of God to warn you, or, or they, 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 they go to dooms, prophet, and the, all that old foolishness. But yet when it happened, y'all the first ones crying. God, 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 what? Because one thing about God, from the beginning of Genesis to the end of Revelation, God always warned his people. And I don't even want to hear it. Yeah, they mock and they clown. But when that stuff come, now they looking. Now they crying. I'm telling you right now, the leaders almost finished with their plan. I told y'all, if y'all look, I, I, don't, I don't be trying to go back in. But there's always somebody, and, and I'm going to ask you, because there's some people, every time I say, they say the Lord, they record them and they write them down. I said this two months ago. I said there's gonna be a, there are gonna be lots more mass shootings and everything. I'm telling you, I'm all in the elite, elite Kool Aid. Been there since day one, since God revealed it to me. What, what, four, five, six years ago? I don't remember. It's been so long. And I'm telling you right now, those people are here. They're not coming there here, and they're almost finished. They're almost finished doing everything. And guess what? Anybody is expendable. They've been planning this since the early 1800s to take over the world. Do you really think they're going to let anybody stop them? Not me, not you. And God will allow it. God is going to allow our captivity, America, because America have turned its back on God. All y'all care about is money. Um, y'all curse women out. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And I'm going to tell y'all something else, too, that y'all not going to like, and I could care less. That rap music, that ain't real rap music. That's demonic chattering. Demonic chattering. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And you can look it up too, by the way. Google it. Google it where it really comes from, how it comes from Jamaica. It's a channeling. It's channeling. It's channeling spirits. Just like that, that guy that said Percocet, Percocet, not all these young people out doing Percocet. But what y'all don't understand is, let me tell you what them people then did. They didn't put something in that Percocet. So what we need you to do is to sing about it because then they're going to go and take it. So hold on. They started that with boys in the hood. Come on, some minister society. What we're going to do is we're going to show them how to shoot up each other. That's when all the drive-bys started. Y'all understand that this is brainwashing at its highest level. Because whatever we tell them to do, uh, you know what? I know what I'm going to do. Later on tonight, I'm going to explain to you about the tabernacle of David. How there were certain instruments and certain musical sounds and certain rhythms that controls. As a matter of fact, still controls the body. Case in part, y'all remember sexual healing, you remember that? How it made you want to, well, that's the same thing. It's a, it's a different beat, it's a different rhythm. And, and what happens is it goes into your sensory glands, come on somebody, hallelujah, and into your spirit, and it tells you violence, violence, violence. And that's why the Bible says, protect and guard your spirit. Come on somebody, hallelujah. Our children don't know how to guard their spirit because this generation have dropped the ball. You got grandmas wanting to drop it like it's hot. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Showing their old titties. Yeah, I'm going to say it like that. Yes, I should have said breasts. I know I say what I say. All out here, all out here, even in the church, competing with the young women. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I'm just being real because guess what? I ain't got time to, to break that thing down and, and to be politically correct. It's ridiculous. You don't got no more praying mothers. We ain't got no more welling women. We ain't got nobody that want to be honorable. Because everybody want to be a cougar. Oh, come on somebody. Hallelujah. You are allowing the young to teach you. And God say that should not be. Hallelujah to his name. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. I'm done being politically correct.
I'm coming forcefully and I'm coming the way that God tells me to come and ain't nobody going to stop me because the spirit of God is going to hold me up because let me tell you something it's a sense of urgency it's a sense of urgency it's a sense of urgency God says and this is not the time to play because guess what the enemy is slaying you the enemy is slaying our youth the enemy is slain in the spirit and I rebuke him I rebuke it and I sever it to the root of that thing women of God start acting like women of God and, and I'm, I'm going to tell it all tonight. This is your anointing. Y'all going to be mad at me, especially y'all black women, but they got white women doing it too. This is your anointing. This is where your anointing rests. You ain't supposed to put on that hair. Because guess what? I researched all those attachments are to their Indian God or into their foreign gods and so now you put it on your head and it's covering your anointing and it's stifling your anointing and it's stopping your anointing and you think you're cute but you're stopping your anointing to look cute it don't even matter you can get mad all day long you can get mad got, got men putting it in their hair to have long braids and so what they do is they pray over that stuff spells and witchcraft that's all they've been doing for the last six months they praying over the food y'all all know does everything taste funny i brought a watermelon the other day you should have saw that watermelon i should have i should have i knew i should have took pictures of that watermelon and i didn't because my dad's so quickie he wanted to go throw it away but I, but next time i get a watermelon i'm, I'm gonna show y'all I ain't never saw nothing like that, and I'm 49 years old. I ain't never saw what I saw. I said, God. He said, that's chemicals, Deanna. I'll tell you something. The elite wants to kill us. The elite wants to have us. As a matter of fact, thank you, Lord. There's a spirit of Pharaoh. And Pharaoh will enslave us again. And let me tell you something who's likened to Pharaoh. Pharaoh, the man that was in office. Let me go ahead and, and tell y'all some details so when it happens, this is just a reiteration because I already said this like I don't know how many times. I see a gold coin because money is going to be useless. I see a gold coin. I see silver. They're going to be having silver. His face is going to be on the coin. And last night I was looking at the Son of God and I remember when they say they tried to catch him and he said, so should we give um, to God and, and to this? And, and he said, what should we give it to Caesar? And he said, give Caesar what is Caesar's and God what is God's. I'm telling you right now, the time is coming. The time is coming, God says. And you better make a choice whose side you own. Because a lot of you are tainted. A lot of you are tainted. You know, and, and I'm going to be very transparent. I used to really get mad at God. Because I, I, I spent a, a lot of time alone. I feel like a hermit, just to be real with you. I can't be with everybody. No, I'm not all that in a bag of chips. But I got to protect my spirit at all costs. And sometimes it gets real lonely. But last night, like I said, I came to myself. It was just like it just like I remembered who I was from 27 years old. He said, the reason why I have you so consecrated and set apart, because I need you to speak with power. I need you to move with power. I need you to lay hands with power. It ain't even about me and what I think I want. And I remember crying because I said, I'm not worthy. Y'all don't understand the enemy is trying to make us not worthy and feel not worthy. But God said you're worthy. You're worthy because you're carriers of the glory of God. You're carriers of the anointing of God. The disciples, the same spirit they had, we're supposed to have. We're supposed to lay hands and they recover. We're supposed to speak and it happens. Hallelujah to his name. The enemy is trying to teach you on purpose so you do not have any power. Hallelujah. And I'm going to go ahead and repent for using the T word and not breast because some of you are going to be like, well, I don't know. That just wasn't a God. That, that's what I felt at that spirit at that time. Hallelujah. But I'm going to repent because God says some of you, you know, you're old school. But she should have stayed there, Lord. That's what's tripping y'all up right there. Tripping over one thing I said and not listening to everything I said. I'm telling you what he just told me. That's how I know it's real. Oh, my God, my God. Y'all don't see. Y'all don't see what's going on. The enemy tripping you over little stuff. And we got some big fish to fry. The power of God. God is looking in the earth. Trying to give you deuteronomous power. Supernatural power. And most people are just saying it's prosperity. No, 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 no. He said, I would prefer that your soul prospers as well. 
Oh, come on, somebody. Let's just be real about it. Because everything is not about money. As a matter of fact, I promise you, the day is coming to where that money will not save you. But the power of God. And when they come, are you going to be able to hear God to say run? Are you going to be able to hear God to say stay? Are you going to be able to hear God to say don't trust this one? Are you going to be able to hear God to say don't trust that one? Are you going to understand and hear God? Because most of you don't even know this voice of God. And that's sad. You do not know the voice of God. You know of God. But you don't know the voice of God because most of you won't sit down long enough to really, God, God, come. Give me your spirit, God. Let me please you, God. I say yes, God. I want you to work through me, God. Take it all, Father God, anything that's not of you. You have not prayed the prayers. You're just moving and grooving, God says. The devil got you busy thinking that you're doing the work of God. And he's laughing at you. Because you're not spending time with your father to hear his instructions, to hear what he wants you to hear, to move how he wants you to move. Hallelujah to his name. But I'm on the wall and I'm going to stay on the wall. And it don't matter what nobody say. But I'm telling you right now, if we don't get it together, it's going to be a massacre, which I repeat in the name of Jesus. It's already going to be a lot of bloodshed. When these people do what they do, y'all think, they just preparing y'all mentally. I hate to say it, but I have to release this word. You have not seen death yet in the numbers that you will when martial law start. I see blood in the streets. I'm talking about like blood baths. What you going to do? Are you ready? Are you truly ready? What, what, what are you going to do if they come to you with a sword and say denounce Jesus Christ? Because those days are coming. All we did was go back in time. That's all we did was go back in time. What are you going to do when they say, renounce Jesus Christ or die? <laughs> and the young people think this is a game. And they think it's a game because you think it's a game. I'm telling you right now, we've got to come back to the oracles of God. we got to come back to the oracles of God. And some of you... Apostles and prophets, evangelists, preachers, teachers, you're so worried about what people think about you. You can't even serve God, God say. You think I care about what people say about me? They, you know, I really understand my calling. Because they had been talking about me, you know, like when I was in the world. I was doing so much wrong. People, uh, I'm serious. They was talking. So I was already kind of like gilded toward, they're not going to lie to me, this and that. And when I realized my calling as an apostolic leader, I cried. I said, God, wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So I ain't going to be able to prophesy cause and houses and all that. He said, no, you're going to be a correction and a rebuke. I said, they don't like them. I said, I remember Jeremiah now. I mean, I'm sitting up there trying to, and, I, and I'll and i be doggone. That's exactly what I do. And I, I know, I understand, trust me. I understand how people feel about me, trust me. They know, but, but one thing you know, and I want you to look at it. I bet you they won't come play with me though. They'll talk about me. They'll say things, uh, but I bet you they won't come play with me. <laughs> God will make them back up, not Deanna, but the Spirit of God. Hallelujah to His name. And so I want to encourage you. Stop let, stop trying to be a people pleaser. Stop worrying about this one. And that's another thing. Y'all try to link up to the, to the who's who. Y'all better link up to who's who. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying tonight. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We better get it together. People are dying. And the blood going to be on our hand. I don't care what nobody say. Quit worrying about what other people think of you. Oh my God. That's what's wrong with most of, most of you apostles and prophets. You won't even speak of what's up. And I, I know a couple of apostles and prophets personally. I'm just going to be real with you. I'm not going to call your name out. God's been showing me how you have a muzzle on your mouth because you're so worried about. Because you're in prestigious church, okay? I'm not going to say nothing, God. I don't want them to be mad at me, God. You a coward. And some of you are my friends. I'm sorry. You're a coward. How dare you? What if somebody die in their sin because you didn't open your mouth because you scared of what somebody else going to say? The devil is a lie. The de I don't care about you liking me. I care about your soul. Hallelujah to his name. Somebody playing. You got to be strong hearted for this. But hold on. Don't get it twisted. This is God's gift. And so if he choose you how dare you quench the spirit of God? How dare you? Because you're scared. Scared of who? Ah. So let me ask you a question. Do you love God or do you love them? 
the most. Hello. God's, God thinking the same thing. When And I'm going here tonight. When God told me to go to some leaders that I love and rebuke them. Me and him headed out that night. So I thought, right. I cried and he said, Deanna, you love them more than me? And I cried. I said, no, Lord. He said, well, tell them what I said. And these are some big names, by the way. And yes, some of y'all got mad at me too and this and that. But I cried the whole night because I was scared. I was like, God, they're not going to like me. You know, people love them. I said, people love them people. And I had to get it in my heart and my mind and my soul. This ain't about me. This is not about who like me, who don't like me. I had to think about judgment day. I got to stand in front of God and say, well, you know, God, I didn't do it because this, the devil is a lie. The devil is a lie. The devil is a lie. And not only that, I'm going to tell y'all something what happened one day. And I'm going to end it with this. I, I'm, I'm very serious. You know, <laughs> I know I would have to tell everything, almost everything. Isn't, isn't that something? You go through your life and you think that you'll only, you'll never be able to share things. Shoes, God will make you tell it. I, I was in Manny, Louisiana. This is when I first started the ministry. I was 27 years old. And don't say God won't do this because, yes, he, he do. God told me to go to a club. So I went in there. I sat at the table. I was already feeling uncomfortable. And God said, you weren't feeling uncomfortable back in the day when you were drinking, getting high and everything. I was like, God, you ain't even had to go there. That was cold. So I sat there. And they had this man, and he was shooting pool. And God said, Dan, I need you to go and touch him and talk to him. I'm not even going to lie. I could see spirits, you guys. I always could see in the spiritual realm. And the spirit of anger is a rage spirit. I'm talking about it's really, really rage. And you can really see it clear if you have spiritual sight. And that spirit was all over that man. You guys, I'm going to be honest with you. I was scared. I didn't want to go do it. I ended up going out the club. Let me tell you what happened the next morning. I found out that same man went and shot his wife in the head. Y'all don't hear me. I cried. I repented. I said, my God. He said, he said I don't want you to, to get feel old bad, Deanna, to where I start, you start tripping. He said, no, no, no. He said, now you know how important it is to move when I say move. After that, I never did that again. When God said to say something, because who knew? Now, I thank God she didn't die. But she wasn't even supposed to. That wasn't even supposed to happen if I went over there and just touched him. You don't know what God would have did through me. I didn't do it. That's why I promise you, I ain't going through that again. I prayed, I prayed, I said, God, don't let that woman die. But even her going through it, I felt some way it was my fault. Because I said, I wasn't obedient to you, God. So I know what I'm talking about when I say be obedient to God. Because something, God, I lost, I lost something happened like that. You, you know, I was sick for two weeks. Because that woman almost died. And of course, you know, he went to jail. So I'm thinking, Lord, if I'd have just listened, maybe. Because that's what God was doing. He was trying to stop it. He was trying to use me to stop. Because God, and thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. God see what you don't see. God know what you don't know. That's why you have to be clear to hear. And simple as that. But the enemy comes to get you busy. Distractions. Now, I, I, and I'm going to be very transparent. Everybody desires somebody, right? And I was like, God, so I can't have a husband? What's up with me? You know, I'm just being real. I'm just, I'm just letting it all hang out tonight, right? I understand now. I can't just marry just anybody because I want to be with somebody. Y'all don't hear what I just said. It has to be somebody that's going to girl me and understand because there are times when I was married. Let me tell you what happened. I would wake up on side of the bed, and, I, and the Spirit of God would just help me. The horsemen rise. The horsemen wives. I remember that guy, looked at me, my husband looked at me like I was crazy. Like, what's wrong with you? So if they don't understand who you are, you, I just say the whole sermon. Because some of you are married to somebody you ain't supposed to be married to right now. And I'm wondering why you can't flow. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Do y'all really? Because I'm, I'm being transparent on purpose. Because some of you are in the same situation. I don't just tell my business. I, I, I'm not that type of person. But when I hear the Spirit of God say, speak, it's for somebody out there. You can't even flow because you're married to the wrong person. You can't even flow because you, cause you're seeking. Instead of hear God speaking. Hallelujah to his name. I thank God because that young man today, when I was praying over him, and it's not to glorify Deanna, it's the power of God. He just started crying. I could see the Spirit of God over him. He's getting ready to go to Texas. You never know what God stopped by using me to lay hands on him. 
Because the enemy is after our youth. The enemy is after you. The enemy is after me. And he'll use anybody. Anybody. And that's why you have to, God, give me the spirit of wisdom and discernment. As soon as I meet anybody, I ask God. And I'm going to be honest with you. There are times when I meet people and I really like them. And God said, let me tell you who they are. And I, and I, I, feel, I get so sad. I say, God, another plant trying to get me. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. I, I get them all the time. I promise you I get them all the time. But I tell you one thing I stopped doing. I stopped playing with them. I shut them down. Don't call me. Don't talk to me. And God bless you. Now, I'm, now sometimes he'll release me to tell them I know who you are. And sometimes he'll say just go away. So that's it. That's all I got. That's all God said. I don't want to add or take away from the word of God. Ooh, man, I feel tired so I know that was the spirit. Ooh. Whew. Y'all better hear my cry. Because I do this for real. You know, since 27, since I got saved, all I got is God. Now, now when I say that, I got I got a few friends. I can count on my hand, but when you are truly chosen, you are truly chosen. And God don't let you around people that you're not supposed to be around. And God don't let you go places that you're not supposed to go. And if you don't watch it, the enemy will try to dangle something in front of you. Come out and play. Come out and play. Woman of God, man of God, you can't afford to play. Because you need to stay in position because God needs you. In this hour, this moment, and this time. He needs us. Us. Too many long ranges. Too many people trying to do it. You can't do this by yourself. You can't do this by yourself. You can't do this by yourself. And some of y'all going to get it too. Because, and I'm going to say one more thing before I get off of here. I said this before, a couple of people, they didn't catch it. Going, some of you not going to catch it, but that's okay. You're going to catch it later. There was never supposed to be famous people. That is an antic, an antic of the devil. You know, Hollywood, stars. Notice stars. Notice Lucifer was the fallen star. Y'all don't, it's all simple. It's all simple. Come on, somebody. It's all simple. Now we got stars in Christianity where they got trap gospel. What, what the heck is a trap gospel? You got people putting a trap house in their church. Yeah, I'm talking. You can get mad all day long. Trying. Well, we got we to gotta draw the kids. We got So you got to draw the kids with the enemy weapons, and you wonder why the enemy got them? The devil is a lie, and so are you, man of God, woman of God. Well, we got we to gotta bring this certain music in. Tainting the temple of God and tainting them children more so. You, God don't need no help drawing them. Just be obedient to what God say and quit doing things worldly. The church is too worldly, God says. Stop it, stop it, stop it in Jesus' name. And stop, stop quenching the spirit. I keep hearing that some of you on here are apostles and prophets. Stop it, worrying about people. He, he picked the right one up because I could care less. And I hear conversations, by the way. I hear them. You don't think I hear people? I hear people talking about me. And yeah, sometimes I cry. I be like, God. He said, don't worry about it, my child. As long as you don't lie. Three things God gave me. A commandment. Tell my people the truth. Don't lie. And feed my sheep, Deanna. Now, don't lie. It also don't means don't hurt my people. Because if I've hurt. And as a matter of fact, let me go ahead and say that right now. Because there are some people in my spirit, I feel. If I've hurt anyone, I apologize. But I want you to know I meant no harm. I got to do it how God said to do it. It's not about, well, come here, baby. There are times God will let you speak with love, and there's time God will tell you be stern. And one thing it is, I don't play with the word of God, and I don't play with the spirit of God, and I don't play with the people of God. So if I've hurt you, I promise you it wasn't done on purpose because I don't do that. But I don't play with this gospel either. And there are some of you that came under my tutelage and you thought you could play. And when I put you in your place, then I hurt you. I apologize that you felt what you felt, but I don't apologize for what I said. Hallelujah to his name. Because I'm about your soul. I can care less about the relationship. I'm sorry. Hallelujah. 
So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I need y'all to share this like never before because I felt the power of God. I felt the spirit of God. I felt the anointing of God. I felt the fire of God. So share, 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 share. It ain't about numbers. I care less about numbers. Y'all y'all don't see all of this going to be gone in, in a minute anyway. Y'all worrying about the cars, the houses, the, the man, all that stuff in the go. God say not one stone will be left. Not one. Not one. Not nothing will be left. It's going to all be burnt up. So y'all worrying about this. Y'all working two or three jobs. They ain't even supposed to be working through. You're supposed to be a full-time minister. But you got to keep on the facade. Mr. and Mrs. Jones. <laughs> y'all better stop playing. Y'all better stop playing. Y'all better stop playing. And I know I come from it. I was all about money at one time. So I know what I'm talking about. And I had a lot of stuff. I don't even care no more. And, and yeah, people look at me. Why she don't have this God? Why? I could care less what y'all think. All along as I got King Jesus, I don't need nobody else. Mm -hmm. Don't make me start. Don't make me start. Hallelujah. <laughs> Let me get off of here. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Real life soldiers, for that is who you are. God bless.